good kitten internet. So, uh, last time we spoke, I had a little under 10,000 fame, but I had not checked things after I had done all of those final quests. We have 12,251 fame right now. All I've done is I went back to Alvar to heal, just because I can find things in Alvar, which by the way, it's reset, which means there's lots of bees here. And horseshoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill time. Making sure I can't cast, yep, that's expected. So, what we're going to do is we're going to nuke everything. And I mean everything. I think like one or two nukes is probably enough for Alvar. But we're going to find out. Come on. Day protection is really what I need. Looks like one nuke is enough for Alphar. Ventress is leveled up. Yep, one nuke is enough for Alphar. I have killed everything. Everything will perish. Thus is the way of the destroyer, because I am the destroyer! So the reason why I'm going through and killing everything is one, I need a oh no, no. I have one ogre. I don't know. Alive. Which means, now they're dead for sure. Also, there is something on the back of this place. Somewhere, where is it at? There. No idea what that is. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Supposed to be an artifact. Leave here. it. Worthless. Leave it. I guess it's just very high value ring in this case. Anyway, I had meant to have carry highlighted and screwed it up. That's okay. Alright. We're going to just start going from the top down and nuking everything. Because again, we need the XP anyway. Bunk. Because the easiest way to take time is to level up. And the easiest way to do that is by killing almost everything. The reason why I say almost is that the guards haven't seen one before. Are not dead yet. Well, that one had a really long fall. <laughs> you can't. Um, I've got three people who can level. Might as well do that now. Oops, that should be. All right. We can train you. Deal with that some other time. Very good. Very good. We are at April 24th, getting closer. Let's nuke four times here. Might as well cast flight, so I don't take as much damage. Because that's totally the way this works. Actually, I think I take the same amount of damage because I remember right, the way Armageddon actually works is by dealing that damage to me straight up, rather than how it works for everybody else. Okay. Also, I should have had day of protection up first. Make sure everything's dead. There might be some skeletal dragons that have survived this. Because they're kind of hardy, and I think they might be immune to dark magic. But Armageddon seems to work on things immune to dark magic, so I don't know. Also, Kauri's leveled up again. So that's nice. I'm thinking everything's just dead. Skeletal dragons have 180 hit points. 
This is a challenge of might. Come on. So, only he has failed it. Yeah, that's gotta be 200 then. Because, yeah, everything else is a weird number. Ooh, something survived. That's oh, way up there. 540 hit points. And now it's dead. And it landed into water, so I don't get loot. Actually, I think that also means I don't get XP, oddly enough. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick double check to make sure there's nothing else alive. Then we'll level up Kauri. Because again, we're trying to kill time. I'm not actually trying to nuke everything. It's just a side effect. Also, this is faster. We can train you. Very good. Okay. Now we're on May 4th. Which is actually today, oddly enough. May the 4th be with you. I know by the time this goes live, it's going to be June something. Because I've uploaded a lot. Um, Alright. Um, Raven Shore is the next one I can attempt. For. Oh, nope. I triggered the end of the game. Forgot. I shouldn't have done that. We'll load from the autosave and continue on. So, this is the ending. Ah! And basically, the four elemental lords destroy the crystal, which pops all of the entrances to the elemental planes. Get ready for some awesome voice acting. That's it. And the sun is rising again! With doves! We have obviously completed everything. We are still going to continue, though, because I told you I'm... Level 79, Priest of the Sun. Two years, four months, three days... And a fairly low score. Excellent work! By thwarting the destroyer of worlds, you have pulled your world from the brink of unending oblivion. Not only may life continue, but a new peace reigns over Jadam. The mighty alliance you forged will see to the land's restoration and eventual prosperity. And we are back here. What I don't... did we find? I don't think they actually say anything new. Yeah. Anyway, we're still going to finish up what we had done because I'm going to show you what the end puzzle thing is. Um, yep, everybody dies. I'm betting one is almost enough for here. The Dark Elven Defenders are the only things that take more than one. Also, I haven't shown you what the, um, whatchamacallit, arena is like in my Magic 8 yet, because there's no reason to go there. Ah, everybody can level up. Sweet. Everybody will be dead soon enough. Because it's going to be the easiest way for me to progress time is by leveling. We can train very good. Very good. Hmm. A couple people level up twice. Which means we're at May 20th! Alright. Continuing on. Uh, now that we're done with Ravenshore, Regna and Balthazar's lair. Well, not actually the lair itself. Actually, can I cast this indoors? 
Yeah, outdoors only. That's what I thought. Anyway, just going to exit the lair really fast. Oh, Gorgons are back alive. I don't know if Gorgons will take the hit. Yeah, throw up a day of protection. Nuke. Cast fly, so I can actually get away. Okay, they do actually take the damage. Nuke. Heal. Watch out for falling cows. You know what? This is now your quick spell. Yes. Nuke. Still have some flying cows. Which means nuke again. Heal. Now everything on the map should be dead again. Oh, Gorkins. We're supposed to be immune to magic. Not that I can tell. Yep, you know, these things that have all blown up. Can't you tell? This game. Alright, and we can level up again. Also, I can drop the volume on my ears. That is one nice thing about my setup, is that since I have a volume control on the microphone, I can lower my volume without affecting your volume. Or raise my volume without affecting your volume, which is probably what I'm going to need to do for Wild Arms. We can train you very good. Okay. 28th. Let's continue the nuking. And before somebody asks, yes, I know I could just... Um, whatchamacallit, um, do this one at a time, but I'm having fun nuking. Uh, nuke. Save production. Uh, nuke. Flight. Heal. Nuke. Heal. Nuke. Boo kitty. Oh, that's actually a toy. Go ahead and play with it. Sorry. Alright, did that actually kill everybody? I actually don't know if that's enough to... Yeah, this place hasn't even reset. Never mind. All I did was murder townspeople. Oh well. They're Regnans. Yeah, that did nothing for me. Go to Dagger Wound. Which is also going to do nothing for me, but... I'm just going in order. We need to sleep, which means going to the tavern, which was over here. Now that I remember. Have a seat. We'll be right. With Enjoy your room. We are at June first, but we're not too far away now. But I'm still nuking ev everything. What the heck? Why can't I cast it? This is definitely an outdoor map. It's definitely been a day. Oh. I think one is probably enough, oddly enough. Unless if there's still Regnans here? Nope. Another blank island that's just barely n offshore. <sighs> this game. Anyway, as expected, nothing's happened. We are going to have to start hitting beacons. Recall. Let's go. Murmur Woods. Because, oh boy, have we pissed everybody off here. That's okay. Nukem! Oh. 
Oddly enough, nuking Murmur Woods is a fairly typical strategy because of the sheer number of enemies here. It, yeah, it causes you to level. Not to mention, this becomes a lot easier to find where you need to go for your quest. Or what we're trying to do. So, you know. There's that. Okay, we did actually win that one. We could get hurt. Wait, what? Uh, what? Oh, that's right. This is a quest that they never actually finished in the game. Well, let's finish some things, shall we? Ah, uh, dead gods. In reflection. Power, power. Let's go. This might have been the dungeon that I was thinking of before. The one where I was unsure as to why things weren't quite looking right. Maybe it was this dungeon. Anyway, this is a useless dungeon because there's a quest item in this dungeon. There's no quest for it, mind you, but there's a quest item. Point it out when I find it. Not that any of this matters. Yeah. This is supposed to have been a quest for promotion for a class that does not exist in this game. That would be the Druid. So I remember way back I had pointed out the fact that we're missing the druid entirely they just cut it that's because they cut it from the game and they didn't replace with anything they were supposed to though so they actually have the promotion quest for the druid they don't have anybody to give it to they basically don't have much of anything actually wrong button Don't need to loot things. What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I looting? I don't know. Oh, and... Boon for Torchlight. I forgot. I'm sorry that everything's been dark for the past two videos. I've already gone that way. I've already gone all of these ways, haven't I? I'll look for down. That one Got it. Weak. Yep. Druid circulative power, a legendary item rumored to be uh, rumored, uh, rumored to be from the time of the ancients. Only someone with the power of a grand druid can wear this item. There are no druids in the game. Not even NPC druids. It's completely useless. There's no reason for it. Oh yeah, um, I wanted to check. Um, let me redo this one. Yeah, he's still here. Game just doesn't bother changing any of it. Just resetting it, that way I can come back easily. Okay, let's go level up again and get closer to the correct day. Hey, it's actually a necropolis now. We can train you. Very good. Uh, recall. 
Iron Sand Desert is the last plane I have not nuked everything. Oops. Reload the autosave. Let's try that again. Go back to Shadow Spire. I accidentally set it instead of recalled. That's why. Is it Sunday yet? No. Recall. Iron Sand. Nuke. Fly. Heal. Day of protection. Nuke. Heal. Nuke. Heal. Nuke. That's four, right? Yeah. And boom. That should be everybody again. Which means that we have now cleared out every single outdoor zone in the game. There's nothing left alive. We have one more level up. Beyond this, the only places that we have left are elemental planes. Which I don't think I can Armageddon because I think they technically count as indoors. I'll try it. We can train you very good. It is the 28th. I wouldn't be able to level up anymore anyway. You know what? Let's find out. Easiest one to get to is the one nearby Balthazar Lair. Down. Up. Over. Up. Exit. Just because it's kind of right here. Light. Stop. Old ganger. Oh yeah, might as well actually throw my points into things. Why not? Oh, I have broken stuff. I can't carry that. Sorry, can't use it. I fixed it. It won't fit. Better yeah, than well. you. No room. There. Uh, dog. That's right, I was gonna actually spend some skill points. Sure. 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 Why not? I have a horseshoe for that. There. Because why not? Might as well recast Day of the Gods and Day of Power because, you know, what else are we gonna do with spell points, you know? <sighs> Alright. Time for science. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna go a little too fast for me to do that. Because I'm going at double speed. I can! Neat! Haven't seen it. It does hardly any damage, though. for the speed boost. That's new for. Easy way to find out. 
Yep, that was Nuke 4. Alright. Mm, pretty much nothing is dead. Alright, so I need to hit the 24th. Easiest way to do that is... Walk from Elvar. Which is also a Necropolis, just like everywhere else on the planet. <sighs> Walking intentionally, because now I'm one day off. Stop. I think it's supposed to arrive around the Druid Circle. Around the Ancient Runestone. No kitty cat. But we can double check. Oops. That's not the thing I wanted to do. That's the thing I wanted to do. It's supposed to be Midsummer's Day. Right? Uh, Unicorn King holds... Hold, holds Old Thorn's key among his subjects. Appears when the sun shines on Midsummer Day. And it will be the only thing alive, may I note. Yep. Not the only thing alive. There's actually unicorns alive. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay. Looks like just herd leaders. Which there aren't too many of those. That's a fairly uncommon one. Okay. Ancient control home, right? Yeah. Just checking all the areas where there's unicorns. This is the other one. Oh, there's a couple of people alive. So the reason why I'm doing this is that I don't think I've actually ever finished this obelisk puzzle. Mostly because one day a year, seriously, game? Uh, so it is supposed to be tomorrow. So I'm going to assume it will be tomorrow. One eternity later. Ooh, kitty, calm down. I think it's actually right in this area. It's really hard to tell because they're YouTube. Up oh, there. Unicorn King. See, notice that I nuked everything first, which means that this oh, spawned it. after. Um, well, yeah. It looks very powerful. It has 800 hit points. Ow. And it's dead. Right, we find an item, a key. Let's down portal to Ravenshore and see what's finally in that stupid vault of time that's been taunting me for years. So, I know that there is a bug with this, namely, um, namely that the moment you open it, you can never go reopen it. So, we have Stalt Lace Door, which is the only place in the game that you can find it. We've got diamonds and money. And we have the Elder Axe, which is Minotaur only. That's not even a good axe! I mean, the Swift, yeah, that's nice, I guess, but... There's no room. I We've got 
Foul Fang. Vampiric Vampire Only. Interesting. And the Scepter of Kings, which... I mean, that's not a terrible weapon. No room. We're going to find room for these things because I want to better evaluate stuff. Worthless. And... That's it. So, Foul Fang can only be equipped by vampires, so useless for me right now. The Scepter of Kings versus the Breaker. Breaker is going to do more damage. Scepter of Kings gives a personality boost. Actually, it does the same amount of base damage, but... That does 10 to 20 points of body damage. This just causes you to regenerate hit points, which to be fair is very abnormal for a weapon. The other two are useless. I mean, don't get me wrong, vampires can be nice, although none of the vampires in the base game are. But stalt based ore, that's the only way to get stalt based ore. We can outfit you. Let's see how much money I have at the end. Yes, I know I could Worthless. actually, you know, sell things on the correct Die. person and everything, but eh, not a big deal. I'm just finishing up everything because that's the way we're supposed to play, right? I don't know. Oh, what is that anyway? Yeah. That the weapons. Our axes are the best. Then I'm gonna show a couple of other final things, and that's it. And again, that's actually a fairly nice weapon. It's just not using any vampires. Those and rails a very nice weapon too, but. I have multiple artifacts at this point. A selection of heirloom artifacts. Sell all the things. We're done. There is nothing else to do in this game. I guess I can redeem the ore. Come back soon. I mean, I guess I might as well. Let's redeem them for. Uh, random rings. Those could be useful. Your armor. You're a merchant. Item. We have. I mean, they're nice things, but I wouldn't bother of equipping any of them, not to met other than the hit point one. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Let's go ahead and. Talk about my spreadsheet. 
give me just a moment. I'm going to edit this video together. So one moment, folks. All right. So something I wanted to show at the end of our video, I don't need the headphones on anymore. Um, so you can actually open up the archives of Might Magic 8. And I have an application that does that. I extracted it. It gives you... Basically, Might Magic 8 was written in a spreadsheet, for like a better way of phrasing it. That's actually how they coded a lot of these things. And what you're seeing over there right now, these are all of the characters that you can hire in the game. Um, I eliminated the blank spots because there are a lot of random blanks. And you can actually go through, and I, I've cleaned things up for reference. This, this is a lot messier than what it looks like normally, but... Um, no, I don't want to make a new column. Anyway, um, you can see Devlin Arcana starts at level five. I tried to make things bigger. I'm hopefully, hopefully people can read it. Uh, actually, I can chop off the top part and make things bigger. One moment. Oops, derp. Helps if I actually click on OBS to do this. Chop off that. Move it up. Expand it. Bring to the right side a bit. Uh, move this in some. There. Now you can see things a little better. So, um, so yeah, you can actually edit the files this way as well. Um, some of the mods actually expand out all of the data files in my Magic Six, Seven, or Eight, and which allows you to just use like Notepad to be able to edit things. Uh, so. These are all of the characters that you can get. You'll notice that they are varying in level from 5, 15, 30, or 50. You'll also notice that two of these characters are in a weird spot. Um, Dyson Leyland is the NPC that you get. Um, that's the cleric that's actually in the Necromancer's Guild. I think Nathaniel Roberts was supposed to be a Necromancer that's in the cleric's area, but that never ended up happening. Um, that's how many skill, po skill points that they start at. So you'll notice that Kauri Blackthorn starts with zero skill points, but Thorn Understone starts with 106. And yeah, uh, basically these are all of their skills. There's also an equipment section. I, I lopped off a lot of things in this. I just trying to show the important parts. The important parts being over here. These are the things that I calculated, basically. Um, this is how many skill points they should have for their level. So, like, the level 5 characters should have 20 skill points total. Level 15 characters should have 76. The level 30 characters should have 178. And the level 50 characters should have 350. This is how much they actually have, though. And this is the column I wanted to point out, the first one. Um, this is how many skill points extra they have above and beyond what they should. And you'll notice that our first characters, like Devlin Arcanus, has three extra skill points compared to what he should. So he ain't one and a half horseshoes, basically. Um, Simon Templar has four. Frederick Talmir has four. Overdune Snapfinger, who's our first troll that we get, is lacking in two skill points. They did a really bad job at figuring out what people should have. Hence why Ventress Tailshire has 214 spell, spare skill points. This is the reason why we swapped over to him instead of using Devlin, because Devlin is nowhere near that good. I mean, even though Ventress Tailshire was significantly lower level than Devlin at the time, you have to level up a lot to make up for 214 skill points. I mean, that's well over half the amount of skill points that you should have at level 50. So you'd probably need to be about level 68 or so to be able to make up for that. On top of it, we also have this other column that I calculated called useful skill points. These are the things... Oh, kitty, what are you eating? Um, these are the things that... Well, we saw for an example. Actually, there's a really good example here. Simon Templar. Right in the beginning, we saw that he had two skill points in sword and two skill points in spear. You don't need both of those skills. 
one or the other is fine. Um, our knight that we ended at the end of the game, Blazing Stormlance, he's the one that had 7 skill points in sword and 10 skill points in spear. Why does he have both? So, there is a lot of that. So what I did was I made calculations based off of, okay, how many of these people have, like, useless skill points assigned? Things like, hey, look, I can only be basic in alchemy, but I have eight ranks in alchemy. Um, there's one of these characters that does that. And that's where I got the useful skill points from. So these are what we actually care about. These are, hey, look, compared to if I made a character that did this, how does this stand? So Devlin Arcanus, for an example, you have one extra skill point because he wasted a skill point in something. I don't remember what. I think he had both staff and dagger. Um, Overton's staff finger is lacking in 15 skill points, but that is nowhere near as bad as Ulbricht, the Minotaur. The level 50 Minotaur is nearly 100 skill points off of where he should be. And this is all because he has it in dumb areas. On the other hand... Um, our best character is actually Brimstone the dragon. He's the level 30 dragon. Brimstone is so good that he actually has more skill points than Ulbricht. Or more useful skill points. Um, he actually has more skill points entirely than Arteris Veritas. All of the vampires in this game are garbage. Here, let me sort things really fast to sort properly you did good um so here are our clerics cleric 2 just means that they start promoted for reference um here are our clerics so derva chevron who is the level 50 cleric is terrible got so many skill points thrown in areas that don't really help so this is the reason why my cleric was actually not a terrible plan the rest of these clerics are barely any better than having uh, starting with a cleric and eating two horseshoes would tie the best cleric so okay that's nice dark elves so we had Kauri blackthorn there was our only dark elf she is actually the best dark elf in the game not just because you can get her really early on and she's level 50 so that part's nice i'm making sure that my microphone's working yes okay good um so that part's nice and Adric Stellaire is actually not that bad either. If you wanted two Dark Elves, these two would probably be a good match. The problem is that this is a level 30 Dark Elf, and that takes a long time to get there. In fact, these two Dark Elves are fairly late in the game. These two, I should say. And really, Kauri is the only reason. You don't need another Dark Elf. What I would like to do at some point, another time that I play through Might Magic 8, is just have Kauri at home home uh the adventurer's guild just to sell things because really dark elves aren't actually that great traveler's boon is about the only other thing that they're very good at uh and to be fair the archery is great i like having a grandmaster archer but i have dragons dragons are almost strictly better speaking of dragons um dragons are awesome we had ithilgore who's only barely mar Barely better than a mythical starting dragon, which, as you saw, you can't start with a dragon unless you're using a mod. And Flamdring, who's the other dragon that we could get, is not much better than Ithilgore. And also has old age, because of a, there's a glitch with some of these characters' ages, which is hiding right now. Um, but Brimstone's freaking awesome, and Duroth the Eternal's also really good. So, dragons are great. Uh, the knights have some problems, if you couldn't tell, by Simon Templar being the only knight that is worth a damn. <laughs> um, Blazing Storm Plants is not that bad, but not that great either. There's a lot of wasted skill points. We actually ended up using it because, well, it's already allocated. I might as well use a sword and a spear. No real reason to do that, though. Two swords would have been just as good. Or you can go spear and shield. That was the other thing, is that he also had shield skill points. There's no reason to do all of that. <sighs> um, Minotaurs. Yeah, I don't like the Minotaur class to begin with in this game. I still have yet to use one for extended periods of time. 
when we used res for a little bit in this game and that's the longest i've used a minotaur in this game just to give you an idea and albrecht what did they do to you albrecht why do you have so few useful skill points anyway necromancers um there are two extremely good necromancers in the game uh nathaniel roberts you can get fairly early on that's level 15 necromancer i want to say yeah that's level 15 necromancer um he's really good you can pick him up pretty much when you reach satyr spire and there's no reason not to in my mind i should have swapped over to him rather than using devil and arcanus but i didn't get to shadow spire until much later in the game uh, also, he has one of the highest ratios of useful skill points because they pretty much built him the way I would, with a few exceptions, like having both staff and dagger for some reason. Um, Havasha Deverbro, on the other hand, is terrible. They are identical to each other in the, mo in the number of useful skill points, except she is double the level of Nathaniel Roberts. In fact, they have basically the same number of skill points. They're basically the same character. In fact, are there any differences at all? No. No, there are not. That explains it. They are identical in every way except for how many levels they have. Avesha has 15 more levels and not a single point to give. It's almost like Nathaniel Roberts should have been level 30 with what he has. Mm. Um, Ventress Tailshire, on the other hand, is awesome. No reason not to use him. Trolls. The level 50 troll is the only one that's actually worth using. Um, otherwise, Volog is not great, but not the worst. Ugh really don't understand this game and how they did things and then you have the vampires where none of them are good especially not Arturus. what did they do to him i don't understand and faustus is marginally better gethric is about the same as in faustus and elizabeth well you might as well have just made one yourself so anyway as a result um, if you're making a character in Might Magic 8, as I've now found out, you should probably make, either, if you're going to have a vampire, making a vampire is not a terrible plan. You can use Elzebeth right in the beginning of the game, you start with her basically, but she's not very good. So that's kind of up to you. Same with clerics. All of the low-level clerics, you can basically start with Frederick Talmir, but they're all kind of crap so it's not that big of a deal if you start as a cleric if you those five for cleric um for the dark elves don't it's not worth it which naturally i started with the dark elf for the first three times that i played through the game um it's not worth it because of cowrie you can get her so early on in the game don't even bother making a dark elf you can't make a dragon um the knights are pretty bad you get simon templar fairly early on He's about as good as the other starting characters, so that one would be up to you. It's not a terrible idea, but it's not a great idea either. Minotaurs. If you actually want to play with a Minotaur, start with one. There's no reason. Arius, you have to wait a bit in order to be able to get to. Um, I think he's in Avlar. Anyway, uh, it takes you long enough where you're probably already level 5 by the time you get to him, if not significantly higher like we were. Not much of a reason to pick him up. But if it's between a Minotaur and somebody else and you want both, you can. Necromancers don't. Uh, Devil and Arcanus works for the time being until you're high enough level to be able to pick up Nathaniel Roberts. At that point, don't even bother. Um... Between Nathaniel Roberts and Ventress Tailshire, it really depends on what level you end up finishing the um, Alliance quest. If you finish it early enough, Ventress Tailshire is totally worth picking up. 
But if Nathaniel Roberts is already level 65, there's no reason to pick up Ventress. They're close enough to the same in my mind. Trolls. If you want to play with this troll, start with one. It's not worth waiting all the way to the level 50 troll. You can't pick up that troll early. But you can... And Overdune Snapfinger is not even that early. That's actually a decent way through the plot. So if you're going to play a troll, start with a troll. If you have a choice between troll and minotaur, one, are you trying to play the worst classes in the game? But two, choose troll. Finally, we've got vampire. As previously mentioned, if you want to start as a vampire, if you want a vampire to start with, it's not a terrible idea. You can also use Elzebeth. She only has four skill points wasted. It's not that bad. Um... Elspeth is about the same as starting as a vampire. That's about it. That's all I've got. Um, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed the series of Might Magic 8. By the time that you see this, I am probably in Ireland. I'm hopefully having a blast in Ireland. Uh, unfortunately, I am horribly stressed out because my furnace died two days ago. And I still need to pay for Ireland plus two other trips that I'm going on in all in the course of one month. <sighs> okay. The next game that I'm going to be playing is Wild Arms 1. I'm not going to start it until after I'm back from my trip. I'm probably not going to start it until after July 4th. So sometime in July is when I'm guessing I'm going to start Wild Arms. I'll probably do some type of video test before then, whether that's today or tomorrow, today, tomorrow type of thing, or after I get back, I don't know yet. But yeah, um, Wild Arms will be the next one. It is my favorite console RPG. And while Might, Ma the Might Magic 7 is one of my favorite games, it's definitely within the top 20, same with Might Magic 6 isn't for reference this is not one of my favorite games if you couldn't tell from how disappointed i've been with the game but um might magic six and seven are in certainly in my top list of games wild arms one is in my top five instead and i'm probably going to be less critical of it i'm sure i will find reasons to be critical of it probably due to sexism or racism but it's one of my favorite games and it has a really good plot, or at least according to my memory, and it's fun. They did a good job with it. And there's a, rather than being all sarcastic and ripping into the game, I'm probably more likely to start crying. So, hope you enjoy it, Internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Also, giant squids give great hugs. Bye! Ooh, can you, you want to say bye? Meow. Meow. Come on up, boo. <sighs> she has two paws on my lap right now. Come on up. There we go. Say bye, boo kitty. Bye.